they present you with different delights. Some are savory, some are sweet. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail into Reaction. I'm working on a video for 2010's Yellow Brick Road coming soon. So what I'm doing at the moment is a reaction to the recently released trailer for Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. This looks like, on the face of it, an anthology series. The title seems to scream it. And I'm interested because, as I've said before, Guillermo del Toro is probably one of the most imaginative directors working today. When he's allowed to just flow, he's remarkable. And I expect no less from Cabinet of Curiosities. But I want to see Cabinet of Curiosities even more for the reason that it's a, at the Mountains of Madness delivery vehicle. What do I mean? Okay, Guillermo del Toro has Pinocchio coming up on Netflix. He now has Cabinet of Curiosities coming up on Netflix. Assuming that the relationship between he and Netflix remains a profitable one, which is to say his shows rank well, which I have no reason to think that they won't. Why wouldn't he bring his At the Mountains of Madness to Netflix? It makes perfect sense. Now keep in mind, I recall his budget ask being somewhere in the ballpark of $150 million to produce this movie. Strictly speaking, that's not a lot of money, especially these days. It's not chump change to be sure, but it's hardly the most expensive film a studio or Netflix has produced. So, if they continue to have this relationship, it seems to me extremely likely that we see at the Mountains of Madness on Netflix. You've heard it here first. In any case, let's look at the trailer for Cabinet of Curiosities. Guillermo de Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. Cabinet of Curiosities is a show that I always wanted to make. In this anthology, we gave ownership of each episode to the directors. Action! And each of the episodes has a whole world. They present you with different delights. Some are savory, some are sweet. You get a surprise from each of the bites. We wanted to create beautiful, practical creatures with all the artistry that goes into creating a great monster. We achieved some of the most remarkable images in the series. Ooh, with Lovecraft. Cabinet of Curiosities, what I'm trying to say is, look, the world is beautiful and horrible at exactly the same time. That was the trailer for Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. And while I wish he had more of a role he seems to be mainly an executive producer, though his sensibilities seem to be guiding the production, which is to say you have a lot of practical effects, you have a lot of gory type effects, and coincidence? At least two or three of the stories were Lovecraft stories. Pickman's Model is one. I want to say Lot 36, but I don't recall that 100%. Though Pickman's model is definitely Lovecraft. 
Or is it Poe? Nope. I'm pretty sure it's Lovecraft. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Pick Pickman's model is Lovecraft. And Dreams at a Witch House. Lovecraft. I'm telling you. If this succeeds, and there's nothing that I've seen from that trailer that would indicate that it won't, I think it's going to be huge. After Mountains of Madness becomes more and more likely. So what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailing to Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.